talking What's about? up, Two Feelings family? If you're new to my channel, my name is Crystal, and I hope you stay. Now, my apologies for not coming through Saturday or Sunday. I actually had this video done for Saturday, but my computer kept doing some weird shit, so I just gave up. I was tired. But anyway, I'm here, and I hope you guys had a nice Easter with your family. I did. My ass went to L.A. But y'all ain't here to hear about me. You want to hear about Chas on the surface. Chas, he seems to be like a pretty chill dude. Now, I don't know why he married like four people, but the fact that he was in the military kind of says a lot to me. Um, there's women who marry military men, and they are called Westpac hoes, because when the military man is out, we out there doing other shit. I say we, because my ex-husband was in the military, and like I said, in my 20s, I wasn't shit, and I did a whole lot of shit. So maybe that was the problem, with the exception of the fourth wife, who... Um, died of of opiates he said it was an accident i don't i don't know ain't gonna even get into that but that's what his ass said so it may not be him or it's gonna turn out to be controlling and insecure we gonna find out as the shit go on i'm super nervous about that myself so right now he's happy as a lark he about to go get the love of his life his new wife and shit 14 hours that's all <laughs> So we get a call from this girl and they start talking about the ex-boyfriend. You know, that little issue I'm having is with her best friend. Why is her best friend in communication with a person who she say set her ass up? Like if that's my best friend, you ain't got no business talking to his ass. I don't even know why you're talking to him. I don't want him around. He done set my ass up. And I had to go to prison for fucking two what? Three years. Three years. Because he's gonna take her ass to a rehab. He left her ass at the hotel and her ass got busted with all the shit. At least that's the story that she telling us. He's the reason she went back into prison. So he's on his way to pick her ass up. And he's just sitting in the car just talking about how happy he is that he's picking up his woman and he's so amazed that this beautiful girl is going to marry his ass it's it's all coming to light it's uh you know it's uh wow it's really here now here's the thing that baffled the shit out of me she said out of her own mouth she has been on parole or probation for the last 11 years of her damn life, okay? So she done been to prison a few damn times. I said, well, shit, her house is 40. She's 40 years old. That says a hell of a whole lot. I just want to know if she really got it together because I'm like I said, I'm side eyeing her ass. First of all, because she didn't tell her friend, you know, her friend is still hanging with her ex. So I'm just looking at this shit a little funny right now. And is it me? Over the phone, she sounds like a 20-year-old, not a 40-year-old. That, that fucking, her voice, her voice, that little whiny voice. Sorry, guys, I don't like it. It's just, it's, it's, it's just a lot. She sounds like, like a, I don't know, like a little porn star or something. I just don't like it. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> so, he's sitting in the car, talking to himself about her, damn near quivering in his voice. I've been watching this every day, every time she calls. You're almost on the verge of tears that her ass is almost out. His only wish was to have her run into his damn arms, which he got his damn wish. But can I just say this? I think that this was the first time in history, let me know if I'm wrong, that an inmate came out with a gift for the for that for the person waiting on him like I thought that was really sweet that she took the time to make him a really nice gift like really on this I really hope that this relationship works out but like I said I'm just seeing some things that's kind of making me go hmm just saying that is cool but before she get out everybody show up it's the friend's name Terry correct me if I'm wrong I think the the best friend name is Terry and she brought her daughter and she brought uh, this dude brought the damn ex I don't know I said wait a minute bitch this girl told you she didn't want him there but yet you still brought him there and dude says he wanted to come and show his respects I'm like she ain't dead she didn't want you there so I don't even know why you there Hi, it's nice to meet you douchebag 
But here's the thing for me. I was sitting there thinking, okay, did they put something in the flowers? Because I'm always on suspect shit. Did they put something in the flowers, give her a little something, something? Like, did they do something? Because it just didn't make any sense that her, his ass was there. It just really didn't. But I like the way uh, Chaz handled his ass. Chaz let him know exactly how he felt about his ass. Not your biggest fan, but I'm glad I got to meet her because he fucked up that way. I said, that's right, Chaz. He basically said, I don't trust your ass, but I'm glad I got to beat your ass because I'm looking at you right now and you ain't shit. Look like you done smoked up all your muscles and your damn abs. Look at his ass. He been smoking his ass off. Shit he didn't even look like the same damn person. He done smoked all that shit up. This is the same jerk who just took away two years of Brandon's life. I feel like he was high. Or coming down off a of high because he just looked twitchy, his face, his skin, he had the meth mouth. I said, okay, he had no business being there because it's clear, it's clear that his ass is still on drugs. Oh, yeah, no, she's the people to take care of her. I absolutely will. Which again makes me think, why is your best friend with him? Why is your best friend with a drug addict and you can tell that he's still hiding on drugs or doing some shit? It's clear to me. I see the shit every day. I'm just waiting for the rug to be pulled out from underneath me. Now, when she got that damn gift, she was ready to go. She got the gift. She said the shit about three times. Can we go? She wanted to get out of there. I don't know. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Okay. Now. The reason I feel like the boyfriend showed up, ex-boyfriend showed up, We TV did that shit. We TV made sure they paid him a couple of dollars to bring his ass up there so they could start some shit. Now, was it me? Am I the only one who thought when uh, Chaz was talking to him and he leaned in with his chin? I kept my younger books to the best of my ability. I said, oh, Lord, don't let it be another chin check. We're going to get another chin check. Last person leaned their damn chin in, got the shit knocked out of their ass. But that ain't what happened. Like I said, he's like, this boy ain't got a chance in hell unless she is in love with smoked out tweakers. I've only talked to him about four times since I've been in. So now they get their ass in the car. That kiss, she didn't want to kiss him. <laughs> She was so uncomfortable. She would try to pull away from a few times where she just had to say, listen, look, the shit is uncomfortable. I don't like this shit. And he kept pulling her in, trying to get that one. And then he going to say, I was uncomfortable too. No, he wasn't. He was trying to get the feel for it. But she wasn't going for the shit. The shit just didn't feel comfortable at all. It's weird. I got it. I'm sorry. And I like what she said. She's the only person on fucking love after lockup who said i feel uncomfortable because we've only been talking for two years she didn't say dating talking that makes the shit make sense how are you gonna feel like talking over the phone and being with someone for the very first time it's totally different and that's what she's feeling now that she's out she thought because they had such a good connection while talking on the phone that maybe when they got together she would feel different and no it's not she's not feeling like that yeah that sucks so he take her to the PO. First they go get married, y'all. They go get married and, and she's in this disgusted ass bathroom. She said that shit is worse than prison. But she did it. She married his ass and that other kids didn't seem ass uncomfortable. But like, fuck it, this is my husband. I'm going to kiss him. I'm going to make this shit look good. But she still looks a little uncomfortable. I love you so much. I love you so much too. So much it hurts. You know? But her reasons for wanting to marry him to me is a little off because she feels like if she get married and move to wherever he lives she could get away from the drug people that she was surrounded with with her past so that's what she's trying to get away from I'm here to tell you now when you are an addict and if you're not done with that shit you will go back to it I've been her I've been her married a military man thought he was gonna change my life but the problem is I needed to change my own damn life he couldn't do that for me and I kind of feel like that's kind of where she headed now I'm hoping for the best but I kind of feel like that's where she, her ass is headed Good guy. Now, the shit that got me is when she came from her P.O. is P.O. The P.O. said, your ass got to be in the house at 6 o'clock, period. But she's going to Terry's ex-baby daddy's house. 
She said he's, she's the only one she can find to live with that is sober. So it makes me think, okay, is Terry not sober? Like she can't go up there, but I'm just saying, that's the only person that she know that is sober that she could live with. Now, I can't blame Chaz for feeling some kind of way. He just married this woman, but she he's dropping her off at another man's house that she's renting a room from that he don't know, haven't met. So I could see why he would be feeling some kind of way. I would feel some kind of way, too. It's just weird. Anyway, we're going to have such a good life together, baby. Mm -hmm. Now, really... I think once he meet this dude, he would feel differently. The man ain't gonna steal from you. But I can tell you this, Chaz, until you get to know her, know her, know her, um, your ass need to uh, get a P.O. box and have all your mail and shit sent to the P.O. box. He done got out. He done got her a watch, a phone. Is it standard, WeTV, that everybody got to get a cell phone? Like the people got to purchase their prisoner damn cell phone. Oh, my gosh. But not only did he purchase her cell phone, he got her a damn card. He got he gave he's giving her ass a credit card. But she's sitting there looking through all his shit. I said, boy, you know the, what the hell she been to prison for. You might want to hide your shit, or her ass is gonna be a mister instead of a missus with your shit. Ooh, look at your lights. <laughs> yeah, and my milk in there. So he done realize now. He can't get no nothing from her. He can't consummate this damn marriage. Because dude going to be home about 15 minutes. It's 3.45. He get off at 4 o'clock. So they can't do shit. Okay? They can't do shit. He laying in the bed want to do something. I'm like, when you guys first got there, you should have did it within them five minutes. Because we know you ain't did shit in a while. So it only would have took you ass about five minutes. Uh -huh. But am I the only one who noticed that apparently her ass was in the house before? Because when she went up the stairs and came in like, oh, wow, her purse was already in the damn kitchen. I don't know why we TV keeps showing us shit. <laughs> Unless the roommate is a dude who have a purse, but I did see her with that purse, so that's her purse. She was already in the house before coming in and acting all surprised and shit. We TV, I don't know why you do that shit. You guys are the one editing this shit, so it don't really make much sense. I have a really low body image because in prison, I put on a well, little here's bit the thing. of weight. That man, when a man loves you, he ain't gonna give a shit about that. I know I don't put on some weight. My husband don't love me any less. He'll touch it all. He don't give a shit. And I think Chaz would be the same way. He just love her. He love her. And he wants to touch her. He don't care about what she done gained and shit. He don't give two shits about that. It has been a bit of time since I've had sexual relations with... But like I said, I understand as being a woman when we start feeling... I, I, I get it. But is that something she's going to keep doing? He still feels like a new person in my life, even though we've been talking for two years. She going to keep putting off having sex with him? Like, what's she going to keep doing? I'd like to know how this shit's going to go. But you know what, you guys? They remind me of John and Christiana. How Christiana married, uh, how John married Christiana right out of prison. I did. They kind of giving me the Christiana and, and John vibe. That's what I'm getting. But anyway, y'all, that's all I got. I ain't got no more. Um, I'm going to try to throw a second one in here tonight if I can. Since I didn't do shit the whole weekend or Friday, I will try. But anyway, if I can, I'll see you tomorrow, y'all. Don't be an asshole. Bye. This time is a charming